Good job. Trade the system. Great work on this last trade. Let's go over it. What we talked about yesterday, we talked about trading off the control point. Now, I put the QM up yesterday. It worked uh, to the tick yesterday, to the exact tick yesterday. It just stopped to the exact tick again today. I'm telling you, guys and gals, put this little sucker up next to the uh, up next to crude. If you notice what my methodology states, I want to do a simple ABC pattern short or a one, two, three pattern. It's a break of the control point. I keep telling you guys and gals, about three out of five days, I get a nice trade off this control point. That's a retest of two times confluence. And there's our trade for this morning. We're going to be done early this morning again. The trend was down. My trend filter's down. It crossed over. Here's where it crossed. Trend filter's down. You get a good shot at break retest of the control point. Already at your goal today, Earl. Good job, buddy. Nice trade on uh, gold, by the way, too. You look for a break retest. I said we're going to get some good volatility Thursday and Friday, which just had some nice runners because of the Fed hike. I said yesterday, before the Fed came out, I anticipated a 25 basis point increase. I said gold should possibly tank pretty hard. And sure enough, over that $2,000 potential runner, with $150 risk yesterday, same with the crude yesterday after the news, break retest LVA, over a $1,000 potential runner, $150 maximum risk, and today's no exception. The beautiful thing about this system is that blue line tells us the most volume that's traded. Now, I told you yesterday, you can put up the QM, which is the crude micro, on your own ninja charts. Yesterday, it stopped to the exact tick on HVA and broke retest is the exact tick on the control point. They don't move very much. Today, look at this little setup that produced, that coincided with the crude trade. Look at the crude, the big contract versus the micro. Look at that break retest to the exact tick on the retest. So if I were you and you're a crude oil trader, it worked yesterday after the news report also, after the Fed, I would put that sucker up right next to it on the QM on the five-minute chart. That control point's the most volume traded. Look how it hasn't even moved. Now, it was over here on crude also before it adjusted down. But that's what we look for. We look for a break retest. We're looking for a break retest short. The trend's down. We want to see a natural, a natural rotation in the market is this. And this is not just me and you wanting this to happen. This is the market internals. It's exactly what happens with the markets. They like to rotate above and below the control, the low value, and the high value. These solid lines are very, very important in all markets. It nailed the S&P 500 yesterday after the Fed came out three times confluence. Nailed the NASDAQ futures. Nailed the Dow minis. Every single market hit yesterday on the rotation off of these solid lines. It was just a hell of a day yesterday. Today, no exception. We're in this break retest. Your fill was 5106. Got as low as 5045. So we got a really good trade already running. But I really want you to watch that blue solid line. That's the most volume that's traded after midnight. Remember, on my market profiles different from everybody else's market profile, I filter out the non-event volume, meaning I filter out the volume that doesn't mean anything. I only filter in the volume that is going to be very important. It didn't stop to the exact tick yesterday on the QM by chance. Today, it's not by chance it did it again. Now, but the, the cool thing about this is, is that we know the solid line is more volume-based. We know the solid line up you here got mail. Uh, is more volume-based. The, the, the green is low value. The blue is called the control point, and the red is high value. So, and the dotted lines are more price-based. Volume profile has been around since 1994, and then price profile has been around since 1985. So, look how it had two times stack confluence. This is called a stacked area. Notice how my price profile, the blue dots, are stacked exactly over top my volume profile. That creates a brick wall. We call that a brick wall. So when, I, when, when the natural rotation will be to break through the control point and retest, 
this is exactly the same exact trade we had yesterday morning for the big trade also in crude. The same exact trade. Today, the same exact trade. We break the trend filters down. We break below the control. We retest the control. You look for negative market delta on the retest of the control. So when you're doing that, what's really going to help you out, if you look at the market delta, look how it got us in this trade. Look how right there, the market delta, the rotation was down. So we break, retest, look how it turned green, market delta bars, and look at the major market delta sell right here. That told you to enter the trade at the open of the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks above that swing high. All right? If any of these bars, the first couple bars, if they would have closed back green, if they would have closed back green, we got to sell the position at a small loss. That's how you're going to do very well with the system. If you look at any of these members, you take Earl, who did over 200 plus ticks yesterday again, he takes losses, right? He takes small losses to get to that point. You've got to take small losers if it rotates back on you. But if it doesn't, you're going to get these type of setups. Because what happens is you get the negative market delta, and it's been negative market delta all the way down to the lows. My point is, is we need to trade. These solid lines are very important to your trading plan. I would set up, if you're trading crude oil, I would set up the QM beside it. If I'm in a downtrend, I want to break, retest the control. If I'm in a downtrend here, break, retest. This is a stacked area also. This is a breakdown right here. Breakdown, that's an open versus closed relationship right there. The body of the candle. That told you crude's in a, in a tanko mode. Same thing happened yesterday after the Fed report. Broke, retested my LVA on the QM almost to the tick, and it tanked after the Fed report. Same thing happened on the S&P. Same thing happened on gold. Same thing happened on the NASDAQ futures yesterday. If you look at the chart, do a market replay if you have the software. Do a market replay and see how neat it was, how we broke, retested. But that's what we do. If the trend's down, guys, we look to break, retest. These solid lines are very important. These are volume-based indicators. And I take out the bad volume for you. I don't look at volume that's not necessary. That's why these are so accurate. So when the QM broke, retested, and crude oil did too, the, actually the volume profile was right up here on the stacked area too, you look for negative market delta. You open it up, and you put your stop two ticks above the swing high. Don't make this difficult. Go over to, uh, over to um, Gold, Gerald. Gold, Gerald, buddy. All right, go over to Gold. The natural rotation on Gold was what? The natural rotation was break, retest, the control point. Look at the trend. Look at my trend filter. It doesn't take the smartest bear in the woods to realize that we're in a downtrend on Gold. You better not be taking any longs, right, unless you come over here inside a corrective wave like this. So what, what did gold do? We came down to control, but look at the rotation that happened on gold this morning. You have two opportunities on a break retest. Break retest would be the low value area. Break retest, low value area. Look how the low value stopped the market in its tracks, and it rotated all the way back down again. So for you traders on crude, I'll put it next to it, Look how these solid lines, go back to crude, Gerald. Look at crude. Look at these charts next to each other so you understand how this works. Look how the solid lines are volume-based. It stopped the market and its tracks up here on crude. Break retest. Same pattern, isn't it? Same pattern. It's called a one, two, three pattern. I call it, a lot of traders call it an ABC pattern. It's a break, retest, continuation. Break retest continuation. It's the same exact pattern on all markets. That's what you have to do. If the market's in a downtrend, you're going to let it break retest these volume and price profiles. You're going to let it retest within two ticks, maximum three ticks. And then you'll look for negative market delta. That's exactly how we do it. You should have no losses on crude this morning. And you should have no losses on gold this morning. 
because of the stop that we put in if you're trading the method the correct way. Now there's now that's called a motive wave. Go back to crude or gold real quick, Gerald. There's only one way you can take a counter trend trade. Around 80 to 85% are going to be trend trades. The only way you're allowed a counter trend trade, if you're back inside a low value area and you get inside of it and take the first retest, you're allowed to take that counter move up. But that's only 15%, maybe 10% of your trading plan on a counter on a corrective wave. You can counter the market only off this white chart, this J signal chart. Other than that, I would not play it. I would just take trend trades. And if you don't want to do any counter trend trades, just take trend trades, break retest my volume and price profile with market delta, and you'll be good to go. You'll see a lot of great setups.